Hello and welcome back everybody to another astounding episode of Graveyard Keeper. Previously, on camera with the next, we decided to make a couple of layered shots, a couple of different colors, a couple of different themes and whatnot, and it was exciting. So I got a couple of shots in me right now, so this should be fun. But of course, in line with the theme, we're supposedly going to be making like beer and stuff in the game. Supposedly, the Inquisitor required hamburgers. We found the hamburgers. Now, he also requires some beer. The Gold Star Beer, which means I need to somehow find Gold Star Hops. That's going to attempt to be my goal. I don't know if that's very possible, but I think we're going to try to figure it out. Last time, we made it to the bottom of the dungeon. We talked to Snake. We found it at the bottom, and it was it was good. It took a little while to get down there, but you know what? All's well that ends well. We made it, and that's what's important. I need to figure out hops. I did a little bit of research beforehand. I do know where to get hops. I do know where to plant hops, but I require the hops to begin with. So uh, I think what I gotta do, I gotta go find them and purchase them from the miller, I believe. I don't know if he sells gold star hops. <laughs> certainly hope he does <laughs> excuse me yeah oh my god excuse me I had a couple of shots before They're all different colors and whatnot it was fantastic and most of them were pretty good most of them were pretty good but not all of them so we'll see how things move on from there um i have a couple of grapes in my inventory so i think i'm just gonna deposit those deposit those in there i'm gonna try to see if i can make some grape juice Piles of grape juice. The good grape juice. Gotta love that. Love the good grape juice. You know, work on that. Work, work, work. Stomp those feetsies. It's good grapefruit juice. Grape juice, not grapefruit. And then I'll stomp on that a little bit. And then I'll try to make some wine. That's good wine. That's the good wine, my friend. That's the good, good wine. Doesn't get any more good, good than that, I suppose. There are no other... There's no, like, platinum star or anything. Be cool if there was, though. But no. Don't think so. Not in this... Not in this reality. No, thank you. Not that type. In any case. So now the other part is to go grab some hops. I don't know exactly how rested I am, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait till the next day. Talk to the miller. The miller is supposedly the guy who sells the hops. And luckily, I fixed his windmill a little bit ago. So hopefully, crossing my fingers, will be inclined to help out. That'd be pretty dope. And I don't think, I don't think you can grow the hops down in this little farm down here. I think you need to do it up on Witch Hill where all the vines are and the trellises. But uh, I don't know. There's really only one way to find out. Google can't tell you everything. As much as I'd like Google to tell me pretty much everything, it just doesn't always work out like that. So, eh, is what it be. It's what it be. By the way, greetings to everybody from the bottom right corner of the screen. We changed things up a little bit around here. Did that last time but I like it. I think it's better this way. I think we can see more of the game. And plus, I can do a fun little disco effect if I want to. And I think that is probably the coolest thing. And I think, can I turn myself off? No, I can, I can confuse it a little bit. That's funny. I think that's hilarious. Anyway, it's fun that my, pro, that my little picture can dance. I can also dance too. But alas. Miller friend. I've been so tired without any work to do. Trade. You sell hops? Sell good hops? Are those gold star hops? I can't tell. I should buy hops from you until you can't hop anymore. I got money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop seed. Oh, just regular hops. Oh, I want hop seed. I guess I could do regular hops. I'll get practice with beer by purchasing all your hops. All right, that went up in level. Uh, can I purchase all of your flour? Or at least some of your flour? I'll wind up selling it back to you, I think. Let's just buy all your flour. I want to increase my level with you so I can buy better stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, we're almost there. This vendor, the vendor will unlock this tier of items tomorrow. Okie dokie. Can I sell it back to you? I know I'm going to sell it at a loss, but I think it was worth it. It might be worth the trouble in this case. And I certainly hope it was. Go ahead. I lost like 10 silver, but hey, whatever. I'll finish that. You can, you can keep that. I'll come back tomorrow. It'll be okay. I'll come back tomorrow and everything will be fine. Um, it's astrologer day. Can I talk to the astrologer and see if I'm missing anything from him? I think what I need to do is I need to take care of his daughter. And I think that's it. But that involves taking care of Snake to get the necklace. Eh, we'll see. Buddy, buddy, 
Yeah, you have nothing. Help astrologer find a way to earn Miss Charm's forgiveness. In order to get Miss Charm's forgiveness, I need to talk to Miss Charm. Miss Charm wants me to do what? Obtain the aristocrat papers. That's what it was. I need more currency. And the best way to gain currency is to uh, make stuff, make shit. So I'm gonna just pick up stuff. I can make food. I can sell food. That probably will work out to my advantage. Probably. Oh, I don't want flowers. Can I? Can I help with the flowers? What do you use flowers for? I can turn them into alchemical reagents, but I don't know who I can sell my potions to. I'm not sure yet. Anyway. I got some hops to figure out. So I guess I'll make my way back to my little sweet home. Back to my little sweet home to see what I can grow on the thing. Oh, wait. I bought hops. Sorry. I bought hops. I didn't buy hop seeds. I need the seeds for that. So I didn't buy any seeds. But I'm interested in the good seeds. Not these seeds. I hope... I'm crossing my fingers. I don't know whether the miller is going to sell silver star seeds or gold star seeds. I wonder if I can get gold star beer from silver star hops. I'm sure I probably can. It's just unknown whether to, uh, known, known to me right now whether I can or cannot. So we'll have to see about that. Hops can be turned into fluid. I like that. What kind of fluid? I'm probably, I'm guessing it's, you know, it's alcoholic. So maybe like, oh, is it not a fluid? Oh, 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 little, uh, essence. It's not essence. What's it called? It's in the little container. It's in the tiny little cup. What tiny little cup? Tiny little cup. Put the hops in there. What do we got? Work, 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 work. What do I get? Slowing solution. Yeah, because it's alcohol. It makes sense. That's just, that's just how it is. That's just how it's going to be. Put it in there. I have some of that now. All right. I can do more alchemy. I could always come back for more alchemy. But I don't think I want to do that right now. I want to see how many... How many hops do it take to make the beer? How do? And how long does it take, too? I, I guess we'll find out. Maybe. Hopefully. What can I do with the hops? I combine hops with wheat and water to make mugs of beer. And depending on what level... Oh, it's got to be the gold star if I want that. I could use the industriousness perk to give me a benefit to that. So actually, I'm going to see whether I can grab the industrious perk. Because I need that. I need that for the beer. So what do you got? Over here. It's not that one. I think it's over on the next tab. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Industrious? Industrious? Engineer. Swordmaster. Big guy. What about industrious, though? Set of gold. Ah, how do I get industrious? I don't know how to get industrious. I don't think it's something I can research. Is that is that a way to make like better of this stuff, too? I think there was something else that gives me better stuff there. Yeah, industriousness. Any work develop, any work develops you. Even the work of evil. You've accepted your dark side, and it's enabled you to craft more effectively. I kind of like. I kind of want to look up how to get industriousness. But we'll see. We'll see where the blocking point is. If the blocking point is really that I cannot conceivably get gold star hops, then we might look into it. Because I got to get that gold beer somehow. Oh, I need water. I need 50. Wow, it takes a lot of water for that. It's a lot of water. Do I have a lot of water upstairs? I got some water up here. I should just... I'll take all the water up here. I'll go down to the well and collect more water. Right? That's how we do it. Just grab more water. It's that simple. Water from the well. Little Timmy didn't decide to fall down the well this time. Little Timmy is the well. And when I ask Timmy politely for water, he gives it to me. Because Timmy's a good little well. Well, 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 Timmy. Yes, you're doing quite well today. We're very proud to see that, Timmy. Thank you. How much water do I get from this again? I don't remember. Use, 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 use. Oh, that was a lot of water. Oh, it actually. It's actually incredibly easy to get water. A lot simpler than I thought it would be. Nice. Epic. Super awesome. Super hot. Super graveyard keeper. Super, super. Super hero. Super. Super. It's just soup. Now that I get... I think I... I'm trying to think of what else to, to, to... Ways to clear up my inventory a little bit. The Hunter's Medallion... I don't think has a use anymore. I don't think. Maybe I'll just keep that here. Hunter's Medallion. I don't think I can do anything else with it. I showed it off to Snake. To prove that I killed the... Vampire killer. Who was trying to kill Snake. So... I guess that's all fine and dandy. I suppose that's kind of all that I need for that. Cool. 
But now I've got all the water, I can make beer. I can make all the beers. I have to do it one at a time. I should build more of these little beer makers. What were they? Brewing stand? Are they brewing stands? Is that a brewing stand? Looks like a brewing stand. Yeah, it looks like a brewing stand. I need stone. Simple complex part. Sim <sighs> simple complex. It's not simple complex. It's just simple. Simple iron parts. It's all we need. It's easy. Easy to do, simple to love. And I needed stone. I needed more stone. I need to go get more stone. Gotta have more stone. Do I have a lot of stone down here? I think I'm gonna have to go up to the quarry for that. Ah, I got 30 pieces of stone. I can make one more. That's pretty easy. Pretty simple. Then I can create more beer. I will put you right here. I suppose. Might as well have you right next to each other. That way it's just easier to take care of. Working the day away. Look at the day away. Mug of beer? Mug of... Oh, I need more wheat. Oh. That might be something to watch out for. Whoa. Why is there blood on the ground? There's blood making its way over to my hatch over here. Did I step on dirt? Uh, oh. Did I just track dirt inside? I've never noticed that before. Yeah, look at that. I'm tracking dirt inside. I had no idea you could do that. Yeah, I'm tracking dirt. It's not blood or anything. I'm tracking the mud inside. I had no idea I could do that. It's the little details. That's kind of that's kind of cool. I didn't notice that. I never noticed that before. Wowza. What did I come out here for? I need wheat. I need wheat to make more beer. So I'll harvest my wheat. So I can make my beer. So I can give it to the Inquisitor. I think. Actually, what I should do... When the day rolls over, I'm going to go up to Witch Hill and see... How many, how many good beers that I need? And I want to say they're Gold Star. They might be Silver Star. I, I think they're supposed to be Gold Star. I know that's what I need to do. The other thing I need to do for the Inquisitor, too, is I need to, like... I need to get Dark Hearts. And I think... I think the way to get Dark Hearts is to just, like... Just, like, continue to... Just do... Stuff with dead bodies. I think. Try, uh, trying to harvest these... Dude, can I harvest my carrots? Are my carrots not done yet? Interesting. I could have sworn my carrots were done. Uh, I want to do that. And then I want to use... Do I have more carrot seeds? Cabbage, beet, hemp. I don't have more carrot seeds. Interesting. I'm surprised that this isn't ready to harvest yet. That confuses me. Have I been harvesting carrots? I have some carrots. Yeah, I guess I must have harvested the carrots. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't realize that before. Well, in the meantime, might as well dig up some mushrooms from the ground. They're edible, after all. It's easy. We're all about ease around here. If something is difficult for you, why are you doing it? Maybe it makes you money, in which case, continue. That's good. Making progress in the world with monetary value is a, is a good thing. Continue. Get the good good. Get the monies. Money's good. Money is very good. Very good monies. Very, very good. Uh, I don't need this crop waste. I have too much crop waste. I will eventually need to make use more for fertilizer and whatnot, but I just, I just haven't gotten to that point yet. I think I'll be okay. Uh, I have more wheat now, so I should be able to make more beer. Oh, look at that. Mug of beer. It's, it's beer all right. Yes, it is. Oh, and I need more water. I gotta go back up to the top and grab more water. I wonder if there's a way to, like... Because if the water... Hear me out. If the water level is all the way up at the top at the well, then surely, surely, there must be water accessible underneath my house. I, I would think so, right? I, I, I have faith. I'm gonna consume this pumpkin. I need, I need more water. So I'm just gonna... Who needs to sleep when you can get energy for free? Although technically you had to sacrifice a couple of pumpkins for it, but uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. It's okay, it's fine. Oh, I needed to... Oh, I have the water. I just have to use it to get the water, go downstairs, make the beer, and be happy. Oh, I also need... Oh, I need sticks. I didn't realize I... Forgot I needed fuel down here. 
I'll grab... I have coal, right? I got coal. How much coal do I have? Not a lot of coal. Not a lot of coal. Oh, I should... I have a bunch of gold over here, so let me... Let me queue that up for smeltage. Oh, I need more. Um, okay. Let's use a little bit of coal. Oh, I need more coal. That firewood? I can make more firewood. I'll just I'll just use firewood. It's it's the easiest thing to do. Firewood. I meant your children firewood. And then I cut them. Alrighty then. That should be enough for all the gold. Right? Right? Right! Oh! It's perfect. Now I just need more firewood for the thing in the basement. So. I've been working on some firewood. Actually, for not very long. That didn't really take much effort at all. It's not that difficult to chop wood. I remember back when I first started dating my fiance, and I would go to um, I would go to my fiance's parents' house and whatnot, and hang around, you know, prove myself to be a good suitor. I uh, her father was really into like uh, like using actual firewood for fires and whatnot. They like to do fires at that family. They really, really do. I love fires too. Honestly, because if it's going to keep me warm, then I'm cool with it. Um, but so when I was over there, he's like, I would need more firewood. And I'm like, I like using my physical strength to be able to accomplish something. And he's like, all right, well, here's the axe or the wood splitter and a hammer. You can go outside and split some wood for me. And I did, I think, once. I think it worked out well for me. All in all. Oh, my goodness. It's oh, it's Sunday. I'm missing the day. Oh, you know what? I got I to gotta get faith. I gotta get faith. I'm gonna go down, do some faith, come back up, and then, uh, well, if I have to wait till next day to talk to the miller or uh, peruse Witch Hill around the Inquisitor, then so be it. But at least, at least I will have prayed. At least I will have proven myself to continue to be a faithful zealot. And this is good. God sees it as good. Praying is good! And what God saw, he said it at that day, God was like, yo, that's pretty good. And everyone was like, it is good. Praise be to the Lord. And he was like, all right, all right. Hold up a second. Y'all are pretty good too. And they're like, thank you, Lord. We are so humbled. That's probably how it was way back then, honestly. There might have been like a local vernacular. There must have been like a vernacular at the time. Like, you know how like we use slang? Our own vernacular, like our modern vernacular. There must have been a vernacular down back then, too. And I'm sure the equivalent today would have been like, Yo, God, praise be. And he would have been like, Playa, I see ya. I see where you're coming from there. Although, yeah, it was before my time. Before my parents' time. Before everybody's time. I just, there was not, there was not a time that I think anybody was alive for when that was the case. Oh, look at that. I've never researched beets. Beets cannot be decomposed. That is surprising to me. Anything else that I haven't researched? No. I'll find more. I'll, I'll find more stuff. I'll find more. There will always be more stuff to research. Always. Like beer. Can I not research beer? Wait, I can't research beer? Oh, I can. Oh. That seems surprising to me. I feel like you'd be able to do that, but alas, no. I'm just going to drop off down here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I forgot to drop off a story or two. A story, a story or two. Over to the church, so. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on the shelf. I'm going to come on back. And everything's going to be okay. No. Uh, no, prayer, prayer stays with me this time. Prayer can stay down here. Actually, prayer can stay down. Nope, okay, too many maggots. Oh, hum, diddly dum. Uh, how about bat wings? Bat wings can be turned into paper, right? Let's use some bat wings for paper. Like that. Tons of paper. Plenty of paper. Paper for everybody. You need printer paper? We've got it here. We're making it out of bat wings. Actual human flesh, too. You never know what you might get with. Uh, Papier a la Graveyard Keeper. Now yours for only nineteen ninety five. We need money around here. Or I guess we measure it in gold pieces, right? You can get your piece of paper now, today, for a single silver piece per 
lot of like four pieces of paper. Yeah, I like that. And now there should be enough space for my little um, for my faith prayer. That should be okay, right? Right, 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 right. Yes. I still don't know why I have so many maggots in here. I don't need this many maggots. I'm a. It feels a little weird, but I'm gonna just destroy the maggots. I'm just gonna. I've squished them. Oh, I have clean paper. Why do I just have clean paper in my inventory? I don't need that. Put that in there. I, I don't. I don't need clean paper. None of that stuff. Miss me with that. Now I'll go upstairs. Go upstairs. I'll do a little rest. Put my beets in here. I think I can sell beets, but I'm not sure. Oh, actually, let me check outside for more carrots. I need more bodies. I need more bodies. I need bodies to come in so that I can rip them to pieces and find what is within. And look, more carrots. Awesome. I only got three carrot seeds. I'm gonna need to pay my buddy, the farmer, a visit. Otherwise, I will not have enough. Will not have enough seeds for what comes on next. Do I have bodies in there? Oh, I have space for I have space for seven bodies? Yo! That's awesome! Oh, actually, maybe... Oh, you know what I haven't tried? I need a dark heart. So what if I pull hearts from these guys? Extract it? Yeah! If I'm correct in saying, I think... If I'm not exactly sure... But there may be a slight chance to get a dark organ from a body. I think... I think that's what I read online like months ago. I accidentally spoiled it for myself. But that might actually not actually be the case. We'll see. We'll see. Out of these, I don't know what the percentage is, if it is a percentage. And I'm sure there are probably like more perks that I can get to make that better. Probably in like neck. Romancy? I I don't know. Religion, perhaps? What are some of these things? Uh, candelabras. I got some porcelain fjords. I got stones. I got flagstones. I got more stones. Maybe this would be in surgery. Is this to do with surgery? Smithing, farming, nature, book writing? Yeah, this one. Embalming liquids. Hmm. Hmm. I do a body on the to modify its characteristics. Glue injection, modify character. You know what? I have I have points for it, so I'm gonna go for it. Maybe this will give me the clues that I require. Glue injection, preservation. Yeah, reducing bodies decay, embalming liquids. All right, might as well get zombie alchemy. All right, no idea how to unlock this. It's hidden. I'll have to reveal it somehow. Somehow. How do? How dare? I don't know. I don't think it's got to do with this. Combo prayer is a... Uh, I don't know what this little... I don't know what that little perk is right there. But it seems so close within my reach. Oh, but the printing... Mm, I don't know. There are a lot of different technologies here that could be good. Potentially. But I will eventually get them all. But not today. Not today. What else can I get? Ah! Oh, I was hoping to go for marble quarrying. It's a good thing I didn't forget about that. I'll go with that. Hopefully, something helps me with finding more bodies. I didn't get a dark heart this time, so I guess I'll just kind of like, I'll turn it into fluids. I don't know, I don't remember what else I can use hearts for, except turn it into la fluid. So we'll do that. We'll turn it into fluid. I'll use it for alchemy or something. There we go. Got a couple of hearts in there. Delicious. Yum. Preparation, please. And I'll like... Uh, I guess I'll put you over here until I come back. It's almost daytime. I think this will be no just enough time for me to make my... Uh, I'll, I'll go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep first. So I'll go to sleep. I'll take a little bit of a rest. A little rest. A little rest. Go over here. Take a little... Take a little... <laughs> a little snooze. A little snooze -nage, You know. I'll give myself a little more rest. That's, that's good. It's a very good thing. And then we'll figure this out later. Whew. And now that we're all nice and rested and refreshed, as usual, let's make our way over to Witch Hill. That's where I'll go first. I'll go to Witch Hill so I can take stock of how much beer and what, what quality beer that I need to make the Inquisitor feel all 
happy, I guess. I mean, it's not even, like it's not even the Inquisitor that I'm trying to impress here. It's the Guardsmen that I'm trying to impress, I think. They're the ones who are gathering around for a drink and some burgers. Or so I anticipate. And I thought you needed one or the other, but apparently you can't have a nicely cooked hamburger without some beer to go along with it, so. I need 10 gold star beers. I cannot buy them from the, the, the dead horse. I know that. The burgers are already served. Nobody seems to be out here to talk to me. I don't have any of my end game items yet, but I'm getting closer. Getting closer to escaping. Oh, is this not the right day for the Inquisitor? Is he on upward facing day? Oh, he's on upward facing day. I'm here on the wrong day. I should be talking to Miss Charm. But she needs a aristocrat, uh, aristocrat pasters. But I don't have that today. So instead, let's... Actually, let's hurry our way over to the miller. Talk to the miller. Get some hop seeds. Probably the silver star ones. Don't know how to get the gold star ones. And then talk to the, um... Oh, what's his face? The farmer. Farmer Brown! Farmer person! Mr. Farmer who has a son! You! You! You need to give me carrot seeds. I'll buy all your carrot seeds from you. And then we will profit. Profit is good. Yes, I know you're tired, and I don't care. Gold star hops! This is good. This is good. And gold star hop seeds! This is also good. They're a little bit... Yeah, I'm gonna buy as much as I can from you. I can only buy three, so I guess I'll buy some hops too. You don't have many of those, do you, sir? Finish. Alright, well... I got what I can. I'll move on. Got a new body. That's good. We'll move on. We'll try to make beer. I don't know how many hops that you need for a particular plant. So, Adam, got anything new for me? Yeah. Gotta finish your chores, my friend. You gotta. Gotta finish your chores. And from you, I require your carrot seeds. I'll buy all your carrot seeds. Give me, give me all your carrot seeds. And now that I've got you right where I want you... I'm gonna buy all your carrot seeds. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I'm gonna go on my way now. Back to my home, my sweet home. Sweet home, that's where all the bodies are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now that this body is around here, dude, what kind, what kind of body you got? Hmm? I'm honestly, I'm not focusing too much on increasing the level of my graveyard. Not super, not super worried about that right now. Put you on the table. Keep you on the table. I don't know. Dark heart? Extract heart? Extracting? Got a heart. Well, at least I have a heart of all things. And I got places to put the body. <laughs> I love how building more pallets allows us to just get bodies upon bodies upon bodies. I still have to burn them all, though. And there's no, there's, there's not yet a, like a really easy way to do that. Alas. Put a heart in there. Put a put a heart in there too. With all the hearts that we have, we'll just we'll just put them in there. They'll be they'll be fine with that, right? Right? You'll be you'll be fine. We got a place for we got a place for all the ingredients. And what did I give again? Life extract. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's the life. It's the life that we live. Indeed, the life that we live. Now, I'm gonna go up to where the trellises are, and I have a premonition. I don't actually remember, but I have the premonition that I need sticks to build the trellises. It kind of makes sense, right? You put the stick in the ground, and then the vines grow around it. That seems to make sense to me. So I'm going to cut down some tweaky trees in hopes that I'm correct about that. Right? Will you give me the twigs that I so desire, or do I need to, like, uh, yeah, you got some sticks there. There'll be a couple of bits of wood around here, but I'm looking for the small ones. Small trees? You. You're a small tree. Like small trees. Give me what you got. Show me what you got. Give me the sticks. Only one stick? Seriously? Oh, come on, my friend. What about this rock? There's some things over here. Can I not? I can't break those down either. Oh, I can do this. It's rocks. It's just rock. And I got these vines, apparently. I didn't get any rocks from that either. I didn't get sticks. I want sticks. Give me the sticks. Give me the stick, boys. Please? Pretty, pretty, please? I can break you up. Is this sticks? Or is this just green points? It's just green points. 
somehow I don't find that as worth it as I thought it would be. There's a whole, like, fishing system to this game, too, that I, like, know absolutely nothing about. I, so far, have not yet been able to successfully fish for pretty much anything. I don't think- I don't know if I've even ever fished anything up. Because I think- I think I need, like, lures. But I don't have any lures. And I might need, like, worms or something. But I don't have worms or something to be able to help me out with that. So, uh, guess it'll just have to wait. I'll figure out a, as soon as it becomes necessary for me to actually go fishing, I'll go fishing. We'll figure it out. But not right now. I'm not too worried about that right now. So anyways, I need to figure out how many hop seeds I require to start growing hops on my own. So I'll go up here. None of these trellises are built yet or um, grown. I'll try to do some more vine trellis. You, right there. Perfect. I had just enough rods for it. <laughs> Excuse me. So I can put a little bit of fertilizer in there. I have some quality fertilizer. Let's put that in there. Put a little bit of... Um, these are the grape seeds. I require hop seeds, but I need four of them. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait on that. Until tomorrow! Don't want the carrot seeds there. I'll take the crop waste that I have over here and I will bring that down and begin making some more... I, I might as well make some more, uh, like, peat and stuff like that. I have quite a bit of, like, packaged fertilizer and stuff, which I made chemically. Uh, I'd have to make more, and I'm just, I'm just too lazy to do that right now. I don't really feel like doing that again right now. But I do want to get more carrot seeds, and I have plenty. Put that there, I'm going to some more carrot seeds. I'm going to plant as many carrots as I possibly can. Don't really care about beets right now. Oh, I planted beets. Alright, that's fine. Can I just build more plots of land? Empty garden bed? Garden bed with sticks? Do they need... Oh, I can... I don't have to have... I don't have to have a garden bed with sticks. I don't have to. Oh, I'll just build more of these. I don't really need more garden beds with sticks. Although I could grow wine down here if I want to. Wine and hops and whatnot. It's a lot closer and I would probably remember a lot better, but... I have a system right now, so I'm just going to keep with that system for as long as I can. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Oh, so how's the farm life treating you? Is it exhausting? Oh! Welcome! You've been subscribed for 10 months now, Jake? Yo! My guy! I'm proud of you, honestly. I'm really proud of you. I left all my sparkly party hats over on the other side. I left them on the couch. I must go retrieve them. I must go retrieve a party hat. Sparkly, sparkly. Super sparkly, as one of my coworkers would say. It's a blue one. That's great. You missed the cocktails. Bro, those are some pretty good cocktails, too. We had some layered ones. We had some layered cocktails. It was literally shots. You missed it. Usually I don't take shots, but oh, this time it was shots. Oh, we did it, man. We did it, and it was beautiful. Luckily, on the bright side, not that anybody watches it anyway, but these streams will live on forever. I don't stop them from being uploaded to the YouTubes. I just kind of let them sit there. Like, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Consumption! You're helping me proactively fight off my future hangover. And for that, I am greatly appreciated and will fix myself too. I don't know why I still have the fixed self there. I don't know what there is to fix. How about I pop myself in another corner? How about this one? There we go. I've swapped corners. Haha. -ha. But actually, I like the other corner better, so I think I'm gonna stick around down here. I'm gonna adjust my party head, though. Honestly, let's uh, let's adjust the light while I'm at it. Let's adjust my lighting. Where am I lighting at? There we go. A little bit, little bit down there. A little darker. Yeah, it's got some contrast. Nice. I am okay with this. Now, let's put shit in the ground. It's how we grow things. Interesting thought that in our modern society, in society in general, since, since I guess what you would consider contemporary or modern agriculture, we put shit in the ground and consume it. Well, actually what we wind up doing is we put shit in the ground, plant things in the shit, and then we eat it. We don't actually eat 
the shit. That, I don't think is healthy at all. I don't know if, technically, the only, I don't know anything about literally eating shit. However, supposedly, the only thing that I know of is there's a coffee out there. Like, there's a certain coffee bean that you feed to goats, and it naturally comes out the other end, and then you brew coffee from it. So, like, it's kind of, it's apparently really expensive. I've never tried it myself, but it's literally coffee from shit. And supposedly, it's really tasty? Maybe? I I don't know. If I were to ever get my hands on some of that stuff, I hope to make the most exquisite espresso martini. I wouldn't be wasting that on a simple cup of coffee. I'd be doing something good with it. I'd do it Starbucks style. I'd mix it with the... I'd mix it with whatever. I wouldn't be drinking... Oh, I mean, I would try it at least straight once. But I wouldn't do it cheaply. That'd be like French press or like pour over. You gotta do that right. You can't just make that in like, like, uh, like, um, uh, Keurig or Nespresso. Wouldn't want to do that. That just feels like a waste. Sir, I, I'm gonna need you to get off that bed. Go over here. We got some, we got some bodies coming into town. Bodies now are coming to town. I'm gonna rip out your heart. I am gonna rip out your cardiac muscles. In hopes that I'll find something demonic about them, but I wasn't able to do so, which is quite unfortunate because that's kind of something that I need right now. So I'll liquefy you. Delicious. Yum. And what will I make from these hearts? Ah, let's make something from the hearts. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't made anything using this stuff in a, in a hot minute. Can I use the essence like this? Nope. Can I use the essence like this? Um, no, I can only use the essences up here. I am determined to find a recipe that uses that heart juice. Because I don't have any yet. So let's do it. Heart juice. Heart juice? Heart juice. Life extract. Let's mix that with... I don't know. White powder? Nah, let's mix it with oil. And then white powder. Never know what you might use white powder for. Craft it. Go it. What do we get? Toxic goo? An ash goo. So now, I'm gonna combine ash with toxic solution with life solution. Sniff it, sniff it, sniff the white powder. The only white powder that I have on hand is powdered sugar. Promise, honestly. I'm gonna eat this. I don't need this burger no more. I'm gonna eat that burger. Eat that burger. Ready? Eat that burger? Eat that burger. Uh, good burger. Flavor enhancer. Oh, wait a minute. I made flavor enhancer. Yo, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need a flavor enhancer for something. What do I need a flavor enhancer for? That rings a bell. What can I make with flavor enhancers? I thought I needed flavor. Oh, oh, what's this? Lie injection? No, that's alcohol. What did I use flavor enhancer for? I thought I needed that for something. Huh. Oh, oh, quality fertilizer. There we go. Quality fertilizer too. You use flavor enhancer. Yo, that's great. That's excellent. Wow. That goes a long way. How do I get more toxic solution? I should make more toxic solution. Oh, how do I get more toxic solution? Oh, I had to figure this out. I think one of the slimes, one of the slimes, the goo, the jellies. I think one of the jellies turns into toxic solution. And I... Ooh, excuse me. Can make more flavor enhancers, which gets quality fertilizer, which gets me more stuff. I'll use that to fertilize the gold star hops. Oh, this is exquisite. But where's all my jellies at? Where are my jellies? Are you my jellies? You ain't my jellies. Where are my jellies at? Jellies? 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 Huh? Jellies? Huh? Where are my jellies at? Where did I put my? Where did I put these freaking jellies? Where did I put my jellies at? What the hell, man? What the hell, bro? Why are you gonna steal my jellies from me, bro? Oh, I have- Oh, okay. Got some black jelly down here, but no, 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 no. I think I need- I think I need orange jelly. That's what I think I need. Orange. Orange is the color on my mind right now. Orange is the color of the sound. Orange is the color that I need a lot of. Orange is the color that I'll... Require. Where the hell is this jelly? There's the jelly. Give me that jelly. Mm. 
Technically, I have orange jelly in my refrigerator right now. It's apricot flavored. I, well, actually, it's not flavored apricot. It's just, it's made from apricots. So, is it is it apricot flavored if it's made from it? Like, is something orange flavored if it's made from actual oranges? I don't know. I don't think so. But I think this is the toxic one, right? Yes! This is the one that gives me toxic solution. This is a good thing. I will have so many flavor enhancers. I'm creating MSG in my basement. And that's, that's how you do it. And hopefully by the end of all this, we'll have some good beer. I'm gonna use the quality fertilizer too with my flavor enhancers to make the best damn beer you've ever had. What type of beer is it? We talking porters? Are we talking a lager? We talking something like that? Maybe something special like a, like a Pilsner or something? No, it's just beer, non-denominational beer, and you're gonna love it. There's no brand. It's 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 um it's keeper keeper brand destroy burger. No, eat the burger. Keeper brand beer. It gets you drunk. Ding! Gotta love that. Keeper brand beer makes you drunk. I like that. I like that. That's a good one. I'm gonna write that one down. That's a good one. Keeper. I'm gonna write one, that one down. That's a good one. Keeper brand beer. It gets you drunk. I'm always trying to determine. Because everything winds up on YouTube anyway. I gotta figure out what to title it. There's there's good ways and bad there's there's good ways and bad ways to title things. I usually go with the bad ways. Honestly, one of the things I love doing, and I was in I was inspired by a game called Cookie Clicker. The game called Cookie Clicker had inspired me to see how long can you make a YouTube video title? It's a hundred characters. But one of the achievements you, you can get, every single achievement in Cookie Clicker has a description associated with it and a title. And so one of the I think descriptions and titles is like, let's see how long that I can make this title. And it goes on to describe some like historical event, I think. And I'm like, it's, it's funny. It's funny. I, I love that. I, I love, I like grave, I, I pfft, words. I love Cookie Clicker. I like Ortiel, who is the guy who made it. He's a funny guy, he seems. I, I, I one day, I kind of like, I've always wanted to make a game. I don't know if I ever will, but like the idea that I could, create a video game that people would play is like it's it's a it's a cool thing for me and actually speaking of video games i was actually i was i was um i was watching a web series i was re-watching a web series over the weekend called pets cop i'm gonna wind up sharing that on on the discord basically pets cop is a fictional game it's a creepypasta about this game that like was given to this guy, this Let's Player, named Paul, and he is like, yeah, it was given to me as a gift, it had a note with it, and I'm gonna try, and he's gonna try to figure out all the secrets that lie beyond this, this innocent looking game. And it's kinda, it's kinda wacky. It's that type of horror, it's a horror-based creepypasta, it's a horror-based Let's, fake Let's Play, fictional Let's Play series, a Fetzflay, Fetzflay? A Fetzflay, if you will. And it kinda, it's like a psychological horror type thing, it's it's scary without, like, jump scares. It's scary without, like, like blatant references to terrible, terrible things. And it's got, like, it's got some themes of, like, abuse and kidnapping and bad parenting all around. But it's a really, really good series. It's only 24 episodes. Some of them are anywhere from, like, a couple of minutes long to, like, a half hour or so. And you can pretty much binge it in a day. And it kind of just, like, it's just really, really well done. And it came out apparently over the course of like three years. It took three years for this guy, to, th this guy uh, who came out, uh, his name is Domenico, I believe. I don't remember his last name, but he goes by Pressed Eyes on Twitter. And after the three year run of this web series, um, he can't, he, you know, he, he, pretend, he came out about him. He's like, I created this thing. And it was a, like a passion project of his. And it was like, it, it's cool. It's wild. It's got like, the music is, I think the music is enticing, the story is enticing, and just the fact that it's like, when you watch this video, it's like you're watching somebody play a PlayStation game. Like a PlayStation, like PlayStation 1 game. And it looks like that, but it's totally fake. This guy made it all on its own. It's like, it's really, really cool. If I could do something like that, that'd be awesome. 
I have absolutely no ideas for that now. So it'll be it'd be a very long time off to find a game with an X in your local marketplace. Actually, actually, come to think of it too, he didn't even like, like the game was never released. It's just a file on this guy's computer that he would record things on. So it's not playable. You can't you can't play the game because it doesn't exist. It's made by a fake publishing company with fake employees and all that stuff. But it just goes in like it just. It's a, it's a very interesting narrative, and it's really, really cool. And I'm, I've been kind of obsessed with it for the past couple of days. I rewatched the whole thing. I read a couple of interviews on it. I've been scrolling through this guy's Twitter being like, dude, give me more trivia. How did you do this? I think he used a program called Game Maker. And, like, I'm sure you could probably do it in, like, Unity or something. But, like, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know if that kind of gets... I don't know how you do, like, a, like a PlayStation-era type game and something like Unity. I tried playing around with um, with Unity before, and I know a little bit of C-sharp, but I'm not super good at it. Dearest, welcome back. How was your studying? It's good. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. The graveyards go well. I'm telling the people about Pets Cop. What's that? The, that scary guy did not follow me, so we're okay. Scary guy? Wait, are you okay? I hope everything's okay. I think somebody might have stalked my dearest on her way home. She is rather pretty. It's not surprising to oh, me. Yeah, no, I am streaming. Wait, who are you talking to? Nikita. Ah, I'm talking to Nikki. Nikki from Connecticut. She's awesome. Her mother knows how to make a mean naan. Like the bread. N-double-A-N. Naan. Wow. I can't believe... Wow, my internet connection is absolutely super shitty today. That makes me very sad. Curse you, Comcast. Curse you, Comcast. I'll put my own thing in chat. I hate you, Comcast. I don't like you. Curse you, shitty internet service. I don't like you. You make me sad. You make me very sad. Anyway, I'm gonna go create the best kinds of shit. The most quality of fertilizers. Let's get to work. I, uh, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use it on the, um... I'm gonna use it on the... Oh my god, what is it? I'm gonna use it on the beer. I'm gonna make good beer. Wow, beer gives me energy and it gives me health. That really would have helped me down in the dungeon, to be perfectly honest. Can I research quality fertilizer? I can. Excellent. Dude, beer gives you... Beer is actually... It's, in, it's really, really easy to make. And, like, you can make a lot of it. Beer is literally the answer to my, like, um, to my energy issue. Dude, I'm so energized by this beer, I'm gonna write a novel. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write a novel. Actually, can I get more, uh, can I, can I, um, get, like, a better, uh, I don't know, ability to write stories? Which one was that? Playwright, I think? Is it one of these? One of these gives me, makes me better at writing books. Playwright, I need a hundred, so I need to write more books. Write more books to make more books. That's how we gotta do it around here. Write more books to make more books. Can we get some more of those? Oh, I need more paper! Oh, bad, Look at that! I gotta get more paper. Let's make more paper. Oh, I can make paper glob. And what can I use paper glob for? More paper, I imagine? I would assume so. But I don't know yet. Clean paper. Clean paper. I need plenty of paper. Plenty of paper to make things with. And then something will happen from that, probably. The goal, the goal of today is to make beer and give it to the boys on Witch Hill. That's the goal. Do I get drunk when I drink beer? No, I don't. I don't get drunk when drinking beer. There are literally no side effects to drinking beer after beer after beer after beer. Unless there is. But I haven't figured that out yet. So, maybe. Maybe. Maybe there are unforeseen consequences, but I don't know what they are yet. And honestly, I don't think I care right now. I'm on top of the world. I've got all my beer and I'm feeling just dandy. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. The graveyard keeper is just a little hungover. Probably drunk. I, I've had it in four, five entire mugs of beer so far in this game, and I have experienced absolutely no consequences. This, I don't think, is the right message for today's youth. I have drank now nine mugs of beer in a single day, and I am fine. I am just totally fine with this. 
I'm doing A-OK. -okay, which is surprising. I don't have a lot of blue points yet. I need... Uh, what's what's next? I need to make books. Or I need to make chapters. I can make chapters. That's what I can do next. I'll make chapters. But first, I'm gonna... Uh, I have a 50% to get, like, a really, really good one. So I'll go for it. Trying to? Cross my fingers? Was it gold? It was gold. That's good. That's a damn good story if I ever saw one. Or a damn good notes. It's a damn good notes. Oh, two, no two damn good notes in a row. Damn. Some good notes. All right. What's next? Let's write some uh, write some chapters. I want quality chapters, and that will only give me a seven percent chance of that. So I'm not even gonna I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna go with my shitty ones right now. Eventually, I will be the Hamlet of the Graveyard Keeper world, and I will be writing quality, perfect prose and poems, and the world will be like, damn. How do you make such good poetry? And I'll be like, I'm glad you ask. Allow me to spell it out for you. We were just talking about poetry a couple days ago, too. I have a couple of poems, apparently, that I've written. And I have, like, a set of, like, notes that outline, like, whatever I was writing in them. But, like, eh, I don't really... They're a little long. Not incredibly proud of them right now. So I'll read them another time. Eventually, it'll be an open, open poetry slam night. We'll all share our poetry. Probably not. We'll see. We'll see. Anything's possible. Whatever whatever motion strikes us. I think I'm going to make three books. So I think this will be all fine and dandy. Could always use more blue points. Could always use more blue points. Honestly, the world of the Graveyard Keeper doesn't move without blue points. Honestly. You can't, you can't really move on with life without blue points. There is a 0% chance of making a good book. I am not surprised. But will I get a book nonetheless? Hell yeah, I will. Can't stop me from making books. Can't stop me at all. This is how I get the points. Once I get to 100 blue points, though, that's how... That's how I That's how I become a playwright. But I need more stories, and I don't have enough stories right now, so I guess I'm just gonna have to be this. I have these other guys, though. I can use them to get a bunch of science points. Or perhaps use them for other things. I really, I really don't know, so I'm just gonna use them for science points. I don't know what else they use them for yet. So. Oh, it's upward facing day. But that doesn't help me. I should go talk to the miller, though. It's still. It's still light out. I think I got enough time to talk to the miller about more hops. Yeah, I'll try that. I'll try walking on over. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers. He's still around. Oh, let's. Let's throw some stuff in here while I'm over here. I only need one more gold star hop seed, and then we'll be okay. So hopefully, maybe maybe I can make it to the miller before he leaves for the evening. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping so. I mean, really, what does the miller have to do with his day? He just kind of said that. Pretty much, I don't know. There's not a lot of... I, I like this game. I love it. But I have my critiques, and one of the critiques is the fact that the NBC, like, they move around depending on what time of the day it is. But, like, other than that, they just kind of stand there. And I guess that's convenient for the player, but, like, eh, kind of kills. I, I feel like it kind of kills the immersion. All right, give me the hop seeds. I got all your hop seeds. And I might as well take some hops, too. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna only buy one, because I'm gonna wind up buying... I'm gonna wind up growing my own hops. So I don't want to spend all the money on these ones. I have the quality fertilizer in my inventory, right? Yes, I do. Oh, this is gonna be good. It'll be a slow and steady process. I actually don't know what the benefit of the quality fertilizer is. I don't know if the quality fertilizer gives you more seeds or it gives you more product. I would suppose it gives you more product and not more seeds. But uh, I suppose that's something to find out, you know? So let's see. Let's do the quality fertilizer two. It's got a gold star next to it. Hop seeds. Only the bestest seeds. Put some peat in there. I'll put my quality fertilizer in there. I'll put my hop seeds in there. Not the toxic solution. I don't need to put that there. And I got I got energy left. I'm tired, but I am ready and raring to go. Make some quality wine too. And because it's actually super easy to make quality fertilizer too. So I'm going to just use it all on all of these. I'm going to get... Oh, I'm going to make so many grapes. So many grapes. So many, so many grapes. 
I'm happy about that. And I think, actually, the quality fertilizer, I think, can be used down here, I believe. Right? If I upgrade, I use quality fertilizer, too. Yo! Okay. Yeah, look at that! Yo! The zombie graveyard can now grow quality grapes. Look at that. Yeah, go for it. Totally. Oh, epic! I'm gonna replace all this with the quality fertilizer. If I had the choice between good fertilizer and not so good fertilizer, why wouldn't I go with the good fertilizer? And it's so easy to make. You, yourself at home, could have this quality fertilizer. Now yours for only... I don't know, as many silver pieces as you got. I'm not I'm not trying to, like, bust ankles around here or anything, so... Whatever you, whatever you want to pay. You pay what you want to pay for this, this fine-ass deal. We will determine what the market wants based off of whatever you pay today. We're going through a trial run with this particular quality guarantee. We guarantee the quality. Did I mention we guarantee the quality? We definitely guarantee the quality. Just how we do things. All right, cool. That was the invitation. Man, this whole this whole business thing here is it's kicking off. All this wine and stuff, nice. I'll go back home. I'll put all my grapes and whatnot downstairs. I'll do all the work necessary. I'll put the hops downstairs, put that there, make some really, really good beer. I need some water from upstairs. Oh, there's just so much to do. There's just so much to do. Oh, I cannot walk past my anvil. But I can collect water. Consider the water for a moment. H2, whoa. Made more like H2, whoa. I think I said H2, whoa, twice. Anyways. I believe it does take an incredible... I, I took a beer class once upon a time. I took a wine class once upon a time. And I'm pretty sure it does take an incredible amount of water to make, you know these types of beverages and stuff it's a it's a long effort and it takes it sometimes can take years for like like um aged wines and a lot of it oh i need more wheat forgot about that the fact that the fact that you can leave like wine in a barrel or whiskey in a barrel for 12 years and like double triple quadruple its price is a little insane to me but like apparently According to, like, the fanatics, I guess, or the, the connoisseurs, the sommeliers, if you will, it allows the flavor to evolve on its own, and you get something completely different out of it. Or something. I... I don't know. I think the oldest... The oldest spirit that I've ever consumed has been, like, I think four year, perhaps? Because they were stocking it at a local bar of mine, and it was my birthday, and my buddy was like... We'll get the good stuff. What's the best stuff? What's the what's the best stuff you got? And this shitty bar was like, we got one that's a couple of years old. And they were like, all right, that'll do it. Nothing was too expensive for me on my birthday. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. I, I think it might have been like 30 bucks a shot, which is like, oh, it's outrageous of a price. But I guess it was good at the time. From my perspective, it just kind of tasted like burning. But like, I don't know what else you expect. Oh, good beer. Good beer. I'll keep the wheat down here. I'll keep the water down here. Um, what else can I keep down here? The crop waste and stuff. The crop waste is supposed to go upstairs. I'm surprised I keep forgetting to do that. I'll just... I don't need all this crop waste. Just destroy it. Just, just destroy it. <laughs> 69. <laughs> Teehee! It's the funny number. What else is in here? Um, I, I'll destroy these maggots. Don't need them. Uh, I'll put the jelly in here. I want that. Destroy. Oh my god, I forgot I can eat these things. I forgot that I can eat maggots. Oh, this is disgusting. But if it's possible, dude, if the game allows me to, I am absolutely going to eat maggots. I'll make a bit of beers from that. That's good. Okay. So I'm currently making some beers. I need to make more beers, which means I need to make more monies. To make more monies, I need to sell things, which means I need to package things up in crates, which means I should probably do some farming. Also, I should sleep. I forgot. I have not slept at all. I haven't slept for like three days in this game. That's, that's unfortunate. That's too much time. Too much time spent on this stuff. Whew. Hopefully, the Inquisitor will be happy with the libations that we will be providing for him. I think I needed, was it 10 or five? I don't remember. 
It's currently being made. I'm just gonna go back up to Witch Hill and check again. I honestly forgot what it was. I wasn't... I wasn't really paying attention as well as I should have been, so... That's my bad. I should have been paying attention. Now, I haven't been up here in a while. Is there anything, like, of interest up here? Like, any mining areas or... No, just kind of ledges. I feel like there's a lot more to this game than what meets the eye, and unless you kind of know what you're doing, it's a little... It's a little... Confusing. Like, there's a grave over here. I can... Pick up some flowers, I guess. But like, oh, there's a little burned down shack over here. Can't really do much too much with it. Can top down trees? That's pretty cool. But like, what do I gain from that? I don't think I gain much at all. Anyway, hey there, boys. Hey there, boys. How you doing? Can I can I break this? I can break this. Is this stone or is this marble? Yo, it's marble. Nice. I'm gonna I'm bring this home with me. I'm gonna bring some marble home with me. But first, how many beers do we need? Ten? It was ten. Need ten beers. Gotta have ten of the beers. I'll break this down. More marble. Oh, I can break this too? Oh, that's... That's just a... That's just a... Some brush. I guess I'll bring this back. I think this is the... Oh, no. I was gonna say, that was like the smoothest I have ever had. The smoothest experience I have ever had rolling things down a hill. But then it all went to shit. Oh, well. Makes me sad. Alright. So, if I go farther this way, down there, through the gate, to the left, 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 now left, now left, now left, now left, please, marble, please, no, oh, oh my god. I don't know where I can, oh my god, dude, marble, 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 please, don't be difficult. Just accept your fate, Marble. Just accept your fate. Allow it to be. Allow it to exceed. It'll be fine. Um, so I have Marble now. I don't know what I can do with it here, so I'm just gonna... I guess I'll just leave it on the ground until I figure out what's going on with it. Now I'll dig up. Now that I know how much beers I need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig up some stuff. I'm gonna plant. Gonna get some stuff. Do some planting. Planting good. Gonna get those onions. Gonna get those gourds. Gonna get those pumpkins, bro. The onions, most importantly. Because the the onions were important for the... What was it? The burgers and stuff. But I don't really need the burgers anymore. I don't know... That's another thing, too. I don't know whether this is going to, like, complete the quest for the Inquisitor. Or whether it's just kind of gonna be like... Oh, you can trade... Like, you can exchange burgers and beer for, like... I, I don't know points or i don't even know if i get paid for this whole the shindig i don't know we'll see pete 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 for pete's sake plant everything in the ground and hopefully i have enough for for replanting everything you know eventually eventually i will raise these creatures from the dead and i will make them do my bidding they will be the ones who plant the things they will be the ones who do my bidding, they will be the ones to say, Graveyard Keeper, Master Graveyard Keeper, sir, what is your next wish? And I'll be like, dude, let me tell you. Let me tell you what my wish is. I'll tell you what my wish is. I want to be a billionaire. So freaking bad. And by billionaire, I don't mean like actual billions and stuff. I want gold coins. I want to be a gold coin year. So freaking bad. Gonna buy the gold star seas I never had. I want to be on the cover of Graveyard Keeper magazine. Right next to Oprah and the Queen. Does, mm, I, our Graveyard Keeper probably knows who Oprah is. The rest of the world, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think they know. If you know, you know. And in this case, I don't think you know. Let's see. I'll put my cabbage seeds in there. Oh! seeds no i think i'll be all right go back over here gonna collect some peats throw some stuff in there excellent i don't need all these maggots i'm gonna eat these maggots i pick up the sh the stuff from my fertilizer piles and then i just eat these i eat all the maggots mm, tasty makes me feel like a man i'll throw all those in there i got plenty of carrots now 
There is definitely no shortage of carrots. Maybe that'll help me with the dark hearts? I don't know. I feel like I have to talk to the Inquisitor more to gain access to these dark hearts things. I, I think. I don't... I honestly... All I know is that you can get them dark body parts from bodies, but I don't know how to trigger it. I don't know if it's like by random chance. I don't know if you have to... There's some other, like, thing that you have to go for. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Ta-da! Ten mugs of beer. Wow. That was it. All I needed to do it was once. That's awesome! Oh, sweet! On the bright side, upward facing day is... Oh, it's password. So I've got a, I got quite a bit of time towards them. Alright, I thought I had more time. Actually, I do have plenty of time. I don't want there to be more time. I want to get to it. I want to get to it. Graveyard Keeper Brand. It's good for you. It gets you drunk. It gets you drunk. And if it gets you drunk, isn't it worth your money? It's certainly worth your... It's certainly worth your gold coins. Anyway, let's play for the Praise for the Blessing. As opposed to some of the gods that are in the human IRL world. I have eaten my ice cream. That's good. Ice cream is good. Did you know that in the Graveyard Keeper world, we don't shun alcoholism? Um, some people don't shun it in this world. This is true. But if you consume a bunch of mugs of beer, you will be well rewarded with energy and health. That's good health and not needing to go to sleep literally ever. Well, there was a time when alcohol was safer to drink than water. This is totally true, yeah. And clearly, the Graveyard Keeper is reaping the benefits while he still can. This is a positive thing. Yeah, sorry. I, like, yeah, you're good. call no, people good. when it's late, and that's a good thing, because I was walking to Whole Foods, and I was talking to Nikki, and this guy, like, tried to stop me, and I was like, he was like, help, help, like, literally just, I'm like, nope, <clears throat> And just walked away and he saw that it was on phone with someone and I was like thank god sometimes it's best to just mind your own business I like I mean I don't know how I I don't know how like how bad I feel about it or not but like I feel like it's kind of I feel like it makes you kind of feel like a bad person when you choose to be indifferent to somebody who like may be homeless or trying to ask for help or asking for like handouts and stuff like that but like well, he started following me. That's why I got creeped out. If you start feeling like if you don't feel comfortable, then by all means, disengage, walk away. But I was on, I was taking the train one time to go visit my fiance a few years ago when she were at different schools, and I sat next to somebody on the train, a total stranger to me, and she was like, "Oh, you like?" I was my, I was a freshman in college, so they, she was like, "Oh, if you're new to the city, just watch out. Don't like the way she put it was, don't engage with any homeless people." And I mean, frankly, I don't really engage with many strangers on the street anyway, unless, like, you know, you got a smile on your face and it looks you're, like you're not trying to sell me something. But she was like, don't take out your wallet, don't give the money or anything like that. And I don't know how much I believe it or not, but she was like, there are organized peddlers who are going to determine what pocket you take your wallet out of. They're going to meet you on the next street corner. They're going to call up their friend to haggle you for more at the same location. And I was like, this woman sounds a little paranoid or neurotic or just really trying to look out for, I guess, a new denizen of the city. I've never run into anybody like that. I usually don't give out money anyway. If I have extra food on me, I'll try to do so. Or I'll at least, like, say, you know, excuse me, sir. Like, I don't have the time right now. Or my apologies, sir. I'll say I'm sorry and kind of walk along but that's kind of like that's the best thing that i think i can do i mean i don't think i don't know how good my money is to somebody like my, money's great don't get me wrong but like i don't know whether that's going to go towards something that's going to benefit the person i don't know if they know necessarily what's best for them i don't know what's best for anybody but i wouldn't try like from a completely outside standpoint i don't trust a stranger with money more so then I trust the stranger with food. Like, if you got food, hey, if I give you a, a snack bar and you sell it for a few cents, like a quarter, nice. You can spend that money on whatever. But the intent is not for me to be able to, like, enable, like, potentially bad decisions. Like, I don't know where that money's gone. I don't know. And that's, that's enough reason for me to, like, you know, keep the wallet in my pocket. Also, like, I very well could be mugged, which is a very real possibility. I haven't been mugged yet. Knock on wood. Cross my fingers. Cross, like, cross all of my fingers. I don't want to be mugged. And hopefully it doesn't happen. But so far we're good. And I hope it stays that way. 
In any case, so I have... I have all the beer that I need. So I just need to wait until Upward Facing Day. And once Upward Facing Day comes along, I'm going to deposit those at the thing. At the place. The place for the peoples. But in the meantime, what I should be doing is I should figure out what I can ship. Things that I can ship off for... Whoever needs them. Do I have any onions in here? I got plenty of Silver Star onions in here. I'm going to put some of my Gold Star onions in there. Probably for burgers. Burgers are really, really good. They're really good. And I can package these crates up over here. I think, right? Yep. I just need hammer and nails, though. I have plenty of on uh, onions and gourds and stuff. But I need flitches and nails. So let's make flitches and nails. Craft. Nope. Put that down. Let's make nails. Let's make... 60 nails because you never know how many nails you might need so many nails to choose from but i also need flitches so let's make a couple of flitches i can make a few flitches here 18 flitches sounds good to me eventually i'll use some wood to actually like uh, i'll burn some of the bodies get some more ash and stuff like that but i just I just don't want to do it right now you know i just don't don't really want to do it I keep the flitches up here. Can I craft things down here? Is it still within the same, like, range? I hope so. There we go. All right. Let's make two boxes of vegetables. And then I'll sell it. They're Silver Star vegetables. Oh, I'm out of energy. Oh, no, no, no. I accidentally consumed the beer. I did not mean to do that. That was not what I had had in mind. Oh, man. Man, that's annoying. Ugh. That makes me so sad. All right, whatever. Whatever. We'll get some more. We'll get some more. I'm sure I... I, I mean, I don't know how long the hops take to grow, but I'm sure I'll have more by Upward Facing Day. There's so many days... There's so many days left until Upward Facing Day. I, I'm sure I'll be just fine. Let's go check on that progress, though. I don't know. The, maybe the quality fertilizer makes this stuff grow faster, in which case... Cool. Does it? How you doing? Not at all. Okie dokie. Crafts. Are those things growing? They're in the queue. Oh, I get. I think I need a zombie up here. Do I have a zombie yet? I don't remember I have a zombie. Do I have a zombie doing stuff? Actually, I think I have a zombie down near um down in the logistics area, the little the little elevator. So I wonder. I wonder. I can also sell gold star goods too. I didn't even really realize that. Put the onions away. The wheat goes downstairs so I can make more beer. How much beer? All the beer. All the beer for you and your family friends. I can't sell beets. I can't sell carrots. That's that's all fine and dandy. Yeah, look at that. I think. Yeah, look at you, zombie. Yeah, you go get him, buddy. Oh, look at you go. Wow, look at that. Such a hard worker. Who's a good zombie boy? Who's a good zombie boy? You're a good zombie boy. Zombie boy's just like, Ugh, don't patronize me. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Not patronizing you. Sorry about that, sir. Didn't, didn't mean to do that. Moving on, then. Well, hopefully I'll have more hops by Upward Facing Day. In the meantime, I can work on getting more money. I'm filling up the boxes for that very purpose. I think, I think what I might do is i want to try to i might do a little bit of like I don't, I don't know how i feel about doing stuff off screen like i feel like for some games i don't want to do stuff off screen i don't want to i don't want to miss recording any bit of the action <laughs> but for like some monotonous things i'm more inclined <laughs> excuse me i've been more inclined in like recent weeks to kind of like not not bore anybody with it, you know? Don't want to bore anybody with the with the uh, the um, the monotony of oh, I'm gonna go plant some plants and I'm gonna put things in boxes and I'm gonna move on. Or I've been to actually play I, I've been playing Minecraft a little bit more, but I haven't been streaming it because like I can always go mine things on my own. I can always you know figure out crafting recipes and what I want to do in projects and whatnot. And I almost feel bad like quote-unquote wasting the time when i could be doing like more fun things like building a rocket to go to space or you know working on like quest stuff here i'm kind of on the fence about it and honestly i'll wind up doing whatever my fancy strikes me as if i feel like streaming and i feel like playing and i have no idea what i'm doing i'm gonna wind up doing it i don't really care 
because nobody's telling me otherwise and it's for my you know i do it a lot of it for my fun i'd say like 70 percent 70 percent of the whole streaming thing anyway is because i want to do that because i like it i have fun with it and then the other 30 percent which granted is a huge percent of it still maybe not a majority percent but maybe it depends on the day but like i love doing it for the people too naturally but you know you know you know the sentiment there's no time for sentimentality we're keeping graves you gotta worry about that instead so today on downward facing day miss charm is interested in stuff in general i have some beer in my inventory i think it would be wise for me to make my way over to the dead horse um sell some of the lower tier beers that i have i mean i might as well sell all the beer that i have i might as well right oh i can't sell good beer okay i can only sell the bad beer all righty then put it in there put all the beer in there all right and sell it yeah i got a little bit of that that's good i can probably i wonder if i can sell burgers here too i mean i don't know about selling burgers just yet because i don't know whether or not i can like it's very possible that i will actually gain money by giving the burgers and the beer to the inquisitor and his pals i don't know yet though i am honestly unsure i have no idea but i'm sure i'll find out money yay did i gain money i don't know if i actually gained money from that huh well if i do more marketing campaigns i'll gain more pallets maybe i'll do more marketing campaigns i can make more if i make more flyers if i make flyers i will get blue points if i make more blue points i will become the shakespeare this century so there's a benefit there yeah I'll make some flyers make some flowers do a little flyers make a little marketing get my word out there about my business make the world know that if you want quality like mid-tier onions mid-tier pumpkins we got you we got you uh how do i make flyers again flyers flyers no maybe it was uh over here flyers over here flyers over there flyers I can only make five at a time. Interesting. Well, I need seven more points. So, I guess I'll make uh, I'll make four rounds of flyers. That way I'll have 20, and that'll be advantageous. And I think I have some flyers outside, too, in my garden for some reason. Don't know why. I just do. I just have flyers in my garden. <laughs> oh, I used up all that, but I can eat these carrots. There we go. I got all those flower flyers. I'll become the best playwright ever. Oh, did I have? There we go. There's my 101. I'm a playwright. I'm going to write the best damn books of all time. I'm not very good. I was going to try to do like, like, like make up a rhyme on the spot. And I'm really, I'm really not so good at making rhymes on the spot. I'm not that good at that. I, uh, I am not proficient when it comes to impromptu rhyming and whatnot. I don't think I can ever be a rapper. I can't string words together in such a rhythmic and pleasing way as some people can. Oh, there's only five flyers here? No. Oh. I guess I should make more flyers then. I'll make one more set of flyers so that I have an even amount. I'll eat all these carrots. No, don't teleport anywhere. No, thank you. Just want to eat all the carrots. I'll make some more flyers. I'll teleport to the dead horse. I'll make my way to the barn. I'll get some more pallets. And that's just how it's gonna be. That's just this is how it's gotta be. So let's get him. Five more flyers. We got it. Put the elbow grease in there. You got it. Yeah. Nice job. Fist bump. All right. Now let's go to the dead horse. Go to the dead horse. Head on down. Go to the place that needs the flyers. Put it in there. Make the pallets. Good things. Good things, good things. All right, marketing campaign. Nice. All right, marketing campaign. Nice. Marketing campaign. Nice. Achievement unlocked on every shelf. <sighs> yeah. And if I have more flitches, which I don't, we'll be okay. But I don't have enough flitches. I need 18 flitches to build those other pallets. <sighs> I don't think I've ever had that many pallets, so I don't think it's necessary. Oh! Another body came in. That's beautiful. But I'm asleep first. I'm gonna go to sleep. Then I'm gonna wake up. Then hopefully, hopefully, maybe the hops will be grown by then. If the hops are grown, cross my fingers, get some beer, sell it to the peoples, and then 
and then I'm gonna go to sleep for the night. Hopefully, we're making some progress there. But at the very least, like, you know, we've got Graveyard Keeper brand wine, we've got Graveyard Keeper brand onions, we got Graveyard Keeper brand gourds and pumpkins, we got Graveyard Keeper brand beer. Well, you never know what you might get with this company. We just, we just, we like to service people properly. Whatever you want. If you will buy beer, we will give you beer. If you will buy it, we will create it. Will you buy rocks? We'll give you rocks. Whatever you need. You want to buy, you want to buy the undead? We'll give it to you. No problem. And the hops have been grown. Oh, that was excellent. Oh, I have no quality fertilizer. Did I run out? Oh. I ran out of double quality fertilizer. Oh, well then. In that case, go back to Sweet Home. I'm going to make some more, like, double quality fertilizer because naturally. Oh, actually, I need, I need peat. I need to go grab peat from the garden. Hey, Pete. Hey, Peter. Actually, this is perfect. I'm collecting some fresh peat right here. Fresh peat and making some more. Excellent. And I'll eat these maggots. In classic fashion. Because who needs to give maggots a proper home when you could just eat them? There is literally no detriment. There are literally no cons. That's what we call a green light in the business. Anyway, got more hops. Good hops. Oh my goodness. Good, good hops. And I probably can do this twice. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. I wonder, can I sell like really good beer in the cr crates? I'm gonna have to check that. Let's see if I can do that. I came down here to make more quality fertil- double quality fertilizer so I can replant that stuff. Replant those hops. Double quality fertilizer. Plenty of peat in the inventory. Make that fertilizer. Walk on up. Make the best beer that you damn ever had. And wine and whatnot. And anything, really. It's, we, we pride ourselves on quality. Can I actually, actually... Are there more types of fertilizer that I can make? Now that that's kind of within the realm of possibility. No, that's it. That's all the things. Quality fertilizer. The best possible fertilizer. This is the best way to fertilize. The best way to fertilize. Can I research anything? Anything to research? Or did I have... I got everything. There's nothing new to fertilize. Research. Nothing new to research. So I'll move on. Back to the sweet home. Come back up here. I'm gonna plant my hops again. Did I get... How many seeds did I get from that, actually? I got seven hop seeds. That's great. Actually, I think I may even have enough to make two plots of hop seeds. Yes. That is perfect. Uh, so let's put the quality fertilizer down there. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. And, to boot, put more hop seeds down. Oh, that's awesome. And it looks like I actually do have to have a zombie. I have to have a zombie up here for progress to be made, so I'll, I'll get to that eventually. I'll have a zombie up here eventually. I think... I believe I'm going to have to increase the quality of my graveyard at some point. And when I do that, and I have a bunch of bodies laying around, I will take care of additional stuff like that. Ooh, while well, it's still daytime. Let's see, what else can I package up here? Are there any quality products products I can package up? Marble. All right, that's good. Box of goods and whatnot, but they're not the, they're not the gold star. I need, like, gold star pumpkins and onions 44 of them but they're not quite grown yet actually these are the mm, got some wheat so i'll i'll plant some wheat put some of that wheat that'll be good for the beer i don't know how to oh wait, wait, wait actually i bet bet okay hold on i bet if i talk to the merchant then the merchant will be able to buy my high quality beers for me that's gotta be they they have to they, there's no way that they wouldn't right they gotta they gotta, man. They gotta. I don't have enough for that. Oh, shuckaroonies. I'll just move on. Move along with my sad life. Go down to the cave. Down to the cave. Do I have anything to deposit here? I have plenty of carrots and beets and stuff. Put the beets in there. Put the pumpkins in there. Put the, uh... Oh, actually, did I... Oh, yes, this is all done. Perfect. All of the beer. The best of beers. The best of beers. 
for the bestest of customers. And I think, do they, is it this ladder or is it the other one? Nope, it's the other one. But I want to talk to you. Oh, I gotta make you dinner too. I forgot about that. Let's talk business. Let's trade, actually. Will you buy my, you won't buy that beer. Wow, that is unfortunate. You will buy that though. Who buys quality beer? I guess, I guess maybe I gain money from giving it to the, the Inquisitor's peoples. I guess. Must be the case. Alrighty then. Well, in that case, we will just continue onwards. Maybe try some more alchemy recipes. I'm, I'm curious about some more alchemy recipes, honestly. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep my hops down here. I'm gonna clear out my inventory just a little bit. Keep the wheat down here. Gonna keep the hops down here. I could play around with the bodies a little bit more. You know, let's play around with the bodies a little bit more. I'm curious. I, I don't know what the trigger is for gaining dark hearts. We'll find out. It could just be random chance. And if it is random chance for sure, then there is the off chance that what I pull from this body will be dark, shady, and of demonic energy. In which case, perfect. Oh my god, another body. Look at that. I think I should burn these bodies. Regular heart. All right, that's fine. Put you on the ground. Put you over here. Put you over here. And I also need to figure out embalming and whatnot. I don't currently know how the embalming process works, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe. I anticipate on figuring it out. Really, all it takes is for me to make a couple of these things and, you know, inject them into the bodies and see what happens. Currently, I don't know. But with the power of Alkali or Dark Elixir or... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just had a thought. If I want to get a dark heart from a body, perhaps I should inject it with a dark injection. This seems like a proper train of thought. However, I think I must confirm this. So, that being the case, I'm going to liquefy these hearts. And as I wait for upward facing day, we will see. We will see. That seems to make sense. I'm actually, I'm glad I looked at that. Really glad that I did. How to make more dark elixir. Is it down here? Dark elixir uses blood. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh that, well, if that's the case. No. I'll take all the bodies that I do have, pull all the blood from them and other materials. I might as well just hang down here and get some, get some material and stuff. Flesh is good. Flesh is good. Blood is good. Flesh and blood, both being pretty good. Oh, I need more energy. I'll... I'll eat the carrots. I'll eat the carrots this time. See if that helps. And then once I've run out of carrots, I'll go for the beers. You are good. I am satisfied with you. I will burn you. You, I require blood from. I'm gonna grab the blood, the skin, the fat, and other stuff. And the meat. Because I can sell meat. So that'll get me some money. I can turn fat into oil, which is good for alchemy and stuff. Uh, get the meat. And I'll do that for all the bodies. And actually, this is a really... This is a pretty good body. But I'm gonna burn you. I'm not worrying about the quality of the graveyard right now. I'll take care of that later. Put you on the table. Get the good stuff from you. I'm gonna have to eat some carrots. This is good. This is taking up some time. I'm killing, I'm killing some time by, uh, you know, playing around with some bodies, you know? Got a couple of cadavers laying around, you know? What better thing to do with your time with some spare cadavers than to, like, you know, stick a scalpel in it, poke around a little bit, see what you can do, see if you can conjure up the demons and hell spawn of unsanctity in this holy place. More green points. An achievement unlocked. More green points. I have all the green points. I don't know how many green points that entails. But I have a lot of them. Or I had a lot of them. Oh, a zombie. I had a zombie sitting there? You know, I got a zombie sitting around? Oh. Well, if I have a zombie sitting around, I know exactly where to put that zombie. Oh, I gotta bring him up to my, um... My vineyard. That's what I gotta do. My vineyard. That's where he goes. That's a good idea. Nice idea, Cameron. In any case, 
If you've ever wondered what surgery is like, this is it. This is as good as it gets. Poking around with the bodies and stuff. Actually, actually, my fiance is studying to be a PT. She's been to the cadaver lab. I don't know if she's poked around the bodies. I don't know if she's ever had the opportunity to like, you know, take a scalpel to them like our graveyard keeper here. But I'm sure if she did, I'm sure it was a fun and educational experience. I am curious. There was like, there was a point in my life where I like wanted to be a surgeon. Like I kept having dreams about being a surgeon and whatnot. So I decided to look up videos of, sur of surgeries happening. Yeah, that lasted for like a week. As it turns out, surgery is kind of disgusting. You know, breaking open a body and like, you know, all of their fluids and solids and gases and oh it's kind of it's kind of nasty like it was a little it was a little nasty i eventually came to a point where i was like you know i don't think i want to be a surgeon anymore i don't think i want to be a doctor although i think like i i feel like i could definitely get a medical degree if i wanted to but like eh, it doesn't really it doesn't really strike me it just feels like a lot of, it feels like a lot of pressure and i don't I want to say that I don't function well under pressure. I do function well under pressure, but I don't want to function under pressure, if that makes any sense. If I had the choice between a job that has a lot of pressure associated with it and not, I would go for the less stressful, less pressureful job. That would be my choice. Although, you know, I might be inclined otherwise, you know? I feel like if it's a really high stress position and whatnot, they better pay me well. If they don't pay me well, then it ain't worth it. It ain't worth the sacrifice your psyche like that, you know? Or sometimes it is. Maybe if you're like supporting a family, you need a couple of extra dough, a couple of extra bits of dough, then maybe you do need that. I don't know. All depends on your situation. Let me throw this body over here. Fill this up with some carrots. Oh, tomorrow is upward facing day. It's almost time. But in the meantime, time, 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 I'm gonna bring this zombie up to my zombie vineyard. And where he's gonna, this dude's gonna grow the wine for me. Isn't that right, Zomble? <sighs> yes. You're damn right. All right, so if I put you here, there you go. Look at you go. I'm gonna name you Gerald. And hopefully, two weeks from now, I am not going to forget your name. And if I don't, then you're special. You're one of the good ones. Anyway, back to the sweet home. I'm gonna take myself a rest. I'm going to look into, I'm gonna look into cutting down some trees, getting some more wood billets, billets, billets. I still don't know how to pronounce that word. So I can burn a bunch of bodies, burn them all down to the ground to make space Four more bodies. I think I might save that for next time, though. I'm very, very close to the to the milestone that we're going for, which is quality beer, Graveyard Keeper brand beer. It gets you drunk, or rather, the, actually, technically speaking, it doesn't. Graveyard Keeper brand beer doesn't get you drunk. That's disappointing. I feel like, like, where's the payoff? I don't know where the payoff is in this case. The graveyard keeper doesn't get drunk. Or you know what? Actually, actually, maybe, maybe the logic is along the lines of, don't get high on your own supply. The graveyard keeper literally cannot get drunk off his own beer. Some would call that a benefit. Some perhaps a detriment. I know not. I am unsure. Anyway, I'm gonna package up some. I'm gonna package up some meat. I'm gonna go grab some paper downstairs. Package up some meat. I'm gonna sell it. I need that quick cash grab. I need more monies. Give me more monies, please, if you will. I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. Give me the monies. Um, how many of these do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Um, don't need this crop waste in my inventory. It's a waste. I can throw the toxic solution back over here. Gonna grab some of the life extract. Get grab some more life extract. Put these things in the proper place. Um, blood was necessary for something. I'll put the blood down here. Um, no. Over here, please. That's fine. There you go. I think it was Dark Elixir. I'm creating more Dark Elixir because I think, I got a feeling, that's going to be very important for what I need to do next. So I'll make Dark Elixir. 
and I will inject that into bodies. And I'll get the heart. I'll get the dark heart. I don't have any hearts to access right now, so maybe that'll wait for next time. Mastering the dark arts. Or rather, the dark hearts. <laughs> I like that. That was a that was a nice pun there. Very much appreciate that. So dark injection requires those. So I need more. I need glass. Require glass. So I'll go up to over here. I think I need I need sand. Sand and water to make glass? Is that how we do it? I think that's how you make glass. Methinks. I know I can make conical flasks over here. And I think I just need the, like, the simple ones, right? Yeah, conical flasks. I just use those. So let's make a bunch of them. Let's put firewood in here. Might as well. Uh, I need more of those. I need more of my firewood. I'm going to use all my billets to make some firewood. Put them in there. Make a bunch of conical flasks. Prepare those for lie injections. Or not lie injections. Dark injections. The darkest of injections. Oh, I need to fuel from the firewood. There we go. That's pretty simple. Make a bunch of conical flasks. How many conical flasks? Oh, love the conical flasks. It's important because we say it is. And we'll package up some meat in the meantime. And I'll sell that. And then eventually, I will figure out how to make dinners. Because I know, in order to get the rusty fork, the rusty fork, flexible fork, I don't know, whatever it is. In order to get the fork, the final fork, I need to give the uh, the merchant some dinners. And currently, I do not have the dinners. So I'll go to sleep with that in mind. Wake up the next day, talk to the, uh, the dude. And that'll be that. I think that'll be, I think after we give that to the dude... I'll sell some things. That'll be it for this evening. It was fun so far. But I'll sell this to the dead horse. Sell all these meats to the dead horse. Hello, buddy. Hello, pal. Hi there. Bad luck. I know. Trade. There you go. Here's all the meats. Eat that. Yeah, tasty. I know it is. I know it's tasty. You don't have to, you don't have to lie to me. I get it. It's pretty freaking tasty. I know it is. Up to the top of which hill? Hopefully, this is what I need. And if it isn't, then, I mean, I may just gain money from this. And if I do gain money from this, then that's perfect. That helps. Because I need to become a, an aristocrat somehow. And currently, it ain't looking too easy for me. I'm learning, though. I got a blossoming vineyard. I've got a blossoming... Whatever the proper word for a place you grow hops is. So that's going well. A blossoming hopyard. Maybe. So that's working out pretty well. All right, here we go, gentlemen. The best beer. It seems like everything's ready. I should let the Inquisitor know. I should. Hey, buddy. Everything is ready for the next burning. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Here we go. Let's burn some bitches. I mean witches or perhaps both. Oh, you poor, poor thing. But the monks look happy. Beer fresh, beer, beer washes away all sins. It does. Juicy burger sweet as holy ecstasy. Right? And everyone's just like, oh yeah, I'll take two. This is the best burning I've ever been to. Is it though? Mmm, that's tasty. Smoky meat. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Not a hot dog. It is not a hot dog. Quite the quite the not so hot dog here. The town will be talking for a month about today's burning. Whenever you're ready, we should put on a repeat performance. Just get your tent ready, and we'll be in business. You earn whoa 33 silver coins by selling beer and burgers. Yo. That was totally worth it! And I got faith in the process, too. Wow. Now that's what I call profitable. Awesome. So what's my friendship level at with you, eh? Just 75? I need to give you the dark heart, right? That's the next thing, right? Right? Where are you, Inquisitor? I need the dark heart. I, I need to discover a dark heart. Or at the very least, some sort of dark bodily organ. Wow, that was awesome! 
That was so much faith. Now I know how to make a quick buck. Actually, before I head back home, jump in my bed, and go to sleep for the night, I should put more beer there. There we go. Now I'm just ready for burgers next time. Sweet. Sweet. Dude. That was awesome. Not only are we an excellent poet now, we also know how to make killer beer and killer monies. Ah, dude, I'm definitely gonna... Oh, there's so much to do next time. There's so much to do. How much money do I have right now? I got like 85. Dude, I am so close. I'm like this close. Actually, wait, can I... Hold on. How much do I need for aristocrat papers? If I need a gold piece, we'll do it next time. But if I need like 50 silver pieces, then... Oh, I'm totally doing that right now. I'm so pumped up about this. Oh, we'll see. Hold on, hold on, real quick. I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna check that real quick. What do I need for aristocrat? Aristocrat, aristocrat. Oh, tw oh wow, okay, 12. 12 gold pieces. All right, that answers that question. That definitely ain't happening tonight. Back home we go. We'll worry about that another time. Give him a sleepies. It was wonderful. We I made a lot of progress today. That is awesome. This is a, honestly, I feel I didn't know how much progress I was gonna make, but I feel very accomplished today. We've been making slowly but steady, steady progress. We still don't have any of the end game items, but we're getting closer. We're like this close to the fork. We're like this close to the flaming, the eternal charcoal, and we're like this close to whatever the hell Snake gives us. I think it's the Infinity Book, but we're super close. Oh man, we're super close. But either way, it was fun and exciting, and I appreciate every single one of you being here. So thank you for that. I know I keep, I keep looking at my screen. I changed all my keybinds around, so I have to remember what number is each screen, and the ending screen is screen number four. So thank you, everybody. I very much appreciate you all coming along. We had some very interesting cocktails earlier. We had, we made progress in Graveyard Keeper. Dude, we made beer. I don't know what kind of beer it is, but apparently it's good enough beer for people to pay like all this silver coin for it. And it's excellent and I, and it's wonderful. So to everybody out there, no matter where you are in your life, if you're young, if you're old, if you're going through a midlife crisis or anything like that, I hope you have a good day. Good evening, good twilight, dawn, wherever you are, there's always a reason to be happy. Stay positive, no matter what you're going through. Just try, there's a bright side to everything. And I know it's easier said than done, but, you know. Party on, my friends. It's been great. Until next time. Bye.